tonight, a grieving family asking for justice. Their 11 year old boy killed in a crash this past weekend. The suspect arrested for DUI and manslaughter, but then released without bail. Let's bring in our Jamie Seymour going beyond the headlines with this. And I know this too, just a difficult story, but you're learning much more from loved ones, Jamie. Yeah, Liz, Ryan Ambrose's family returned here to the crash site where a makeshift memorial has started to take shape as they share his story and ask that the suspect in his death be put behind bars. With every honk in each car that passes by Southeast 102nd and Stark. Justice for Ryan! This family hopes someone will hear their message as they fight for justice. Just put yourself in our shoes and imagine this happening to your family. Ryan Ambrose was just 11 years old. He was amazing. He was one of the sweetest boys. He was visiting family in Portland from out of state when he was killed in a crash Saturday night near Southeast 102nd in Washington. Court records show the driver of the other car, ID'd as Dupree Smith, had gunshot wounds and says he was driving to the hospital, reaching speeds of more than 85 miles per hour just before the crash with a blood alcohol content of 0.116. He was arrested and appeared in court just days later when the judge asked why he was driving. So this happened at his um, younger brother's funeral, Your Honor. Uh, someone began uh, shooting into the crowd and when the ambulance didn't come quickly enough, he started to drive himself to the hospital. The DA's office asked bail be set at $100,000, but Judge Michael Greenlake instead granted he be released with high risk DUII conditions. I'm releasing you because I believe that you'll follow these conditions of release. Ambrose's family says they won't give up fighting for their little boy who loved Spider-Man and helping others. We just want the person that caused all this pain, all this fear and all this hurt and all this trauma to be where he belongs, where he's in jail. And as a memorial grows at the crash site, they'll continue to share his story. Justice for Ryan! It was just a little kid! The suspect in this crash, Dupree Smith, is expected back in court on August 1st. Now, Ryan Ambrose's family has set up a GoFundMe account to help with expenses. We have that information on our website, coin.com. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin6 News. All right, Jamie, thank you so much.